Hi, hello. This is Anup here. Today we are going to talk about third-party patching from Microsoft. What are the solutions Microsoft is giving in the first version of third-party patching solution that they are providing? And what would be the future roadmap of that? We'll also see some demos in this video. So don't skip the video. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now let's go do another security perspective, enhanced experience Intune is giving and reduce the workload of Intune admins. This is enterprise application management third-party app, app updates. What is enterprise application management? It is a fancy name. Microsoft is going to create a separate catalog of applications which are non-Microsoft application, third-party application. Okay, so non-Microsoft application and they are going to pre-package those applications as per your security requirements. They are going to go through the, the process, the industry standard process of pre-packaging all the applications and going to present you with that application in Intune console. So you don't need to go through, I mean, the tedious process of downloading the application MSI or EXE and converting into Intune Win format for Intune Win32 application deployment. It is all readily available similar to a Microsoft Store based application. This is not Microsoft Store. This is a different catalog altogether. We will see that in the demo later. And you are going to get the update control also. And in the future versions of this, exciting things are going to come. But version which is going to release in uh, February 2024 is going to be very useful. Let's go to the demo and see how this works. So this is the normal process of creating an application. Intune Win application creation process, it is going through now. So that is Win32 application app deployment in Intune. And that is a very, not very easy process or experience is not very good, right? Because you need to go through command line and then convert EXE to Intune Win format and then upload to Intune, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, that is the process we can see over here. It is kind of creating package and command lines and then you need to upload the package into Intune after doing all these things. Now it got created and now we are going to Intune uh, Windows, Windows apps and then you can see something new over here. See Windows catalog app Win32. This is the new catalog by Microsoft with pre-packaged applications, third-party applications, such as WinRAR or I, I don't know, Java, if still people are using Java or Adobe, right, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All those uh, Chrome or all those applications, third-party applications. You need to select this particular thing and then you can see over here, give me a sec. You can see over here, there's a search option similar to similar to Microsoft Store application. So this is not Microsoft Store, but this is third party application store with prepackaged applications. You can see Cisco, Git and Microsoft PowerShell Core, Notepad++, WinRAR. Let's see how WinRAR, if you click on WinRAR, within WinRAR you can see a lot of options such as different versions, different system types, different languages. All these are available for one particular WinRAR application. So variations. So this is the pre-packaging efforts that Microsoft is putting to enhance the experience of admins. So if you select one of them, English, US, and then say, click on select, all these things are already populated. Metadata is already populated. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to put install command line. You don't need to put uninstall command line. But if you want, you can change it. And all those details are automatically populated for you. So that is the very interesting scenario of third party application catalog as you can see over here update for windows 32 catalog application so this is another workflow so deploying third-party application is that what we have seen now if 
you already have deployed the application third party application such as winrar if winrar released a vulnerability fix or new updates then you need to fix it immediately from a security perspective right how you can do that normally we need to again go through the packaging process and upload it etc etc or you can use some other third party solution for third party application patching etc now with this particular solution what microsoft is going to provide if you click on this three button there is option to update if you click on update button over here update app button over here that is going to help you with all the update scenario so it is going to help you to provide all these metadata metadata is all already there you can see all these things are already populated by default and there is an interesting option over here if you want you can uninstall the previous version and install the new version the interesting point over here is there is no deployment mentioned over here that is not there in this workflow you need to manually go to the update application which is going to get created now and then deploy it that is mainly probably for the safety reasons i would say now the application is getting saved etc now that you have seen all the details about enterprise application management feature of intune aka third party application patching and you have seen the demos as well hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around